A very good evening and a warm welcome. My name is Tabo Mulukwani. Welcome to this edition of Soweto Today. Well, it's another day where tonight we talk about the employment of small and medium and micro enterprises. This as the German Development Agency, the JIZ, has implemented the e-recruitment and inclusive hiring practices program for SMMEs in the country in cooperation with the Department of Communications and Digital Technologies and other stakeholders there. Well, to talk more about this, as far as the state of digital skills in South Africa is concerned, we're joined via Zoom by Hester van der Merve, who is the co-lead and human resource expert at the JIZ. She joins us now via Zoom. Uh, Hester, thanks very much for taking the time. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. It's such an honor to be hosted. Much appreciated. Quite an interesting initiative that you have there. I mean, the world has gone digital. Uh, you know, I want us uh, to maybe to just to give us a picture of how reliant, you know, businesses are on digitization today. Uh, I mean, you know, there's quite a lot of businesses that are still struggling to actually go digital as far as it's concerned. Maybe just uh, uh, let's start the conversation there. Sure. So I think to start with digital technologies and the internet, as you have said, are so deeply ingrained in modern life and even the global economy. And I, similarly, digital skills are deeply entrenched in our businesses and such an integral part of our daily operations and trade. For example, practically every business uses smartphones as an integral in the workday, be it for digital or online banking, e-filing of taxes, recruiting for talent, all of those. So it's safe to say that businesses are becoming ever more reliant on digital technology in their daily operation. Um, I think it's also clear that the have in our business and that we apply in our business will depend on job requirements in the specific industry. But the use of digital skill in itself and the reliance of businesses on technology and digitization is not limited to any industry or business format or educational background. It truly cuts across and includes all businesses. Mm. I mean, um, uh, do you have maybe any idea? I mean, you've touched on quite a lot of things there. Um, do you have any idea of how informed and equipped SMMEs are with uh, digital skills, uh, you know, especially among young people? I mean, someone would uh, have an upstart um, um, somewhere and then from there you know they are not actually equipped to you know um, uh, move to d the digital space uh, maybe as far as resources is concerned. Definitely so, so I think the essential digital skill would include the use of smart devices and finding and using information on the internet, working safely within compliance online, and then also obviously communicating in a digital environment. And, and I would think that most SMEs have this covered. But when it comes to attracting and retaining the right talent for advanced digital skill, that can range anywhere from data visualization and basic programming skills right through to data engineering, I think that's where SMEs truly compete to stay ahead. And this is also then where small businesses could benefit from the training to enhance their capacity to recruit for youth that have the appropriate digital skill. Mm. I mean, um, so what is it that uh, is needed now? Is there a huge gap when it comes to, you know, honing those skills or getting the right people for, 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 for the jobs that are digitally related, if I may put it that way. And also, I mean, you're looking at how things have been evolving over the years. Uh, you know, uh, we, uh, the introduction of 4 in, in in the space, obviously somewhere, somehow it has, uh, you know, uh, become a game changer of some sort. Um, uh, do you think that, uh, you know, it's difficult also to attract that the necessary skills for quite a lot of businesses or people they just uh, look at how the business um, uh, you know has evolved over the years or just uh, you know um, the type of business that uh, uh, you know has succeeded maybe over the years so so i think that you know, when, when, we, when we speak about small businesses specifically, we, we know that many of them fail within the first two years of operation compared to macro enterprises. And these businesses are, 
you know, really reliant on, on support of such as the training initiative. And we know that if we could foster um, digital transformation and we could assist businesses to embrace digital transformation, this fosters a resilient a, a type of resilience that mobile tele telecommunication and infrastructure and the internet, all of these things are crucial for most initiatives. But when you think about, um, you know, businesses and the way that they set up, they may not all be advantaged, for example, with reliable connectivity. Um, we know from studies that have been done that city-based small businesses significantly outperform those that are, for example, township-based or rural-based. So, so there could be a factor of the cost of basic um, connectivity. But despite these hurdles, like you have said, we are shifting to a knowledge-based economy with innovation, with e-commerce, with green solutions. So, so what we're really looking at is to assist businesses to, first of all, know um, what are the skills that I require, what are the skills that I need to make my business sustainable and to ensure its longevity. Then also where to look for it and how to bring it on board, to develop it and and retain it. So um, all of these all of these avenues um, are which SMMEs look to to recruit um, talent in a competitive environment. Mm. Uh, I mean, Hester, you know, I'm looking at uh, that report that was done by um, McKenzie uh, there, you know, just uh, McKenzie and company just talking about uh, digitalization and uh, automa automation, uh, you know, could result uh, in a net gain of up to 1.2 million jobs in South Africa alone by 2030. And, uh, you know, uh, saying that companies, they really need to move fast. Uh, to capitalize on this opportunity. Do you think that uh, this is the direction that we're actually heading to? Oh, absolutely. I think, you know, other than um, embracing that that um, talent gap and, and really having an agile response to the talent gap, I do think, you know, having an agile response to technological transformation is what is going to set all businesses and small business in particular a part in in not only being competitive but also remaining sustainable mm. well um we're going to pocket there uh hester we're going to continue the conversation after the ad break we know that technology has advanced rapidly in recent years giving small businesses access to a wide range of cutting edge solutions that help them to stay one step ahead of the competition. Now, in order to be competitive and stay involved in the market, as we've been talking about now, small businesses in the country, they need to embrace a technology so that they can be able to compete. We're going to park it there. We're coming back after this. Welcome back. You're still watching. So it's today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. We are still in conversation with Hester van der Merve, who is the co-lead and HR expert at the German development agency GIZ. And uh, she's here to tell us more about the agency, you know, how the agency empowers SMMEs. She's still joining us. Esther, thanks very much for staying on. I mean, I want us to shift gear. We will go back to some of the things that uh, you've uh, touched on particularly looking at um, you know digitalization but I want us to now shift gears and speak about e-recruitment I know that uh, you know uh, e-recruitment and inclusive hiring practice for SMMEs in the country is hosting a series of workshops maybe if you can tell us more about uh, what the workshop will be all about absolutely so with this training program we aim to empower small businesses in South Africa and specifically by enhancing their capacity um, to or their capacity and their expertise and providing them with the necessary tools to identify and recruit digitally skilled and very importantly a diverse workforce. So more specifically, the aim is to enhance the capacity of small businesses to recruit youth with digital skill in an inclusive manner. So when we speak about an inclusive hiring process, we're talking about applying the principles of diversity, equity and inclusion or DEI, like we know it for short, when they design and implement recruitment processes that specifically focuses on youth with digital skill. So, so the goal of the training is um, to enhance the individual competence of HR professionals and business owners in small businesses to use digital tools and apply the principles of DEI to design talent acquisition processes such that they match the right digital skill with the vacancy in their business. 
But then it's not only about, you know, filling the vacancy. It's making sure that you bring the right digital skill on board that, as we have discussed, develop the skill and importantly, retain it so that the business remains sustainable and um, we ensure its longevity in a very competitive market. Mm. So when are you hosting the workshop and, uh, you know, how long is it going to be uh, uh, on for? Uh, how can people make sure that, uh, you know, uh, they actually um, f- get the uh, nuggets of uh, the whole workshop uh, as you guys are planning to host it here in the country? So. So the workshop itself then runs over a period of three days. So a workshop is three days long and there will be online and in-person options for attendance. So in terms of accessibility, if you cannot travel to one of the venues, then you are um, able to access the training from wherever is comfortable. The training commences on the 15th of February and workshops will then run roughly um, until the, the mid- middle of March. So there will be various opportunities for businesses to, to join into and become involved in the training. Mm. I mean, is there specific, uh, you know, purpose that uh, or uh, some sort of an objective that uh, uh, as the company you are targeting, uh, I know obviously uh, you know the workshop is very important because it will look at uh, all the aspects of digitalization and other things, other dynamics there. But uh, what is it that you're hoping um, uh, to achieve with that, and how important is it? So, so other than responding to to technological advancement, the program aims to contribute to HR, digital skill, and across industry and businesses. When, we, when we're recruiting for skills in our business, whilst we have HR professionals accountable mostly, often in smaller businesses, the business owner also owns accountability for recruitment. And now whilst both of these groups of professional, no doubt, um, hold significant technical expertise, they may find it challenging to bridge that gap between their technical proficiency and the digital skill that they um, require to recruit for. So to that end, the workshop then aims to enhance that individual value that is delivered by these organizational decision makers in their quest not only to bring the right skill on board, but also to create a future forward business that contribute to solutions or brought you know to broader issues in our environment such as youth employability mm. is, uh, you, you know has some very much interested in finding out is this the first of its kind uh, here in the country or you've been you know holding a series of workshops uh, previous in in, in in recent years and also how has you know people uh, I mean, people received uh, the workshops or the training that uh, you provide, particularly for SMMEs. So, so the, the training in itself, the workshop in itself is a fresh initiative. But, but we have a team of experts that are, that are working closely together in terms of designing and delivering the training. And in instances where the principles that we address here have been addressed, we have heard success stories of how um, the appropriate skill have been brought on board and companies have been able to retain s- such skills. But as for the workshop itself, um, it is a fresh initiative. We have an ambitious target um, in terms of how, how we have been received. Um, we are communicating on um, diverse community radios and TV as, as well as social media platforms. Um, we have gained quite a bit of followers and, and our LinkedIn posts typically receive over 2,000 impressions. So. I think there's definitely um, a need and definitely an uptake for the kind of information that we are that we are sharing. Hester, um, I, I want us to just uh, you know just park it there. We're going to take a quick ad break. I want us uh, just after the ad break before we look at um, uh, how many people also do you expecting for uh, the workshop, but also just to touch on uh, you know uh, I, I want to get a sense from you. Um, particularly looking at the issue of digitalization. Uh, some people are saying that it will disrupt uh, the world of work somewhere, somehow. But, uh, you know, we've spoken about it uh, being able to create those jobs than it destroys. I want to get your comment on that after the ad break. Do stay with us. We're coming back after this. 
Welcome back. You're still watching Soweto Today. Thank you for choosing to stay with us. My name is Tambo Mulukwani. We are almost at the end of the show. And tonight we joined uh, via Zoom uh, that uh, has Stefan Ermerbe, who is the co-lead and HR expert at the JIZ South Africa, which is, uh, you know, a German development agency there. We know that in February, SMMEs will have access to free training on e-recruitment and inclusive hiring practices as we've been talking about, uh, you know, uh, how things have evolved over the years uh, there. Now, I mean, Hester, you did, uh, you know, touch on uh, how people have been responding to, 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 you know, the projects that you've been working on over the years. And also, as you're saying, that you've been getting a lot of questions on, um, on, 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 on various social media platforms such as uh, LinkedIn and stuff. But the workshop is fast approaching. I mean, two weeks from, from now on, it will be February. There Are the preparations going well? Going very well. We have a target of 500 participants and we're looking at um, 150 HR managers to also be a part of that 500 that we will provide the upskilling for. You know, so so we're really looking forward to engaging with more small businesses to come on board and, and be part of the training. Mm. So how do you deal with, uh, you know, perceptions on the uh, on the outside or people that might have a different view to the work that you do, particularly e-recruitment and stuff, because people might say that uh, you, you guys want us to lose our jobs because now you are moving digitally and stuff. I mean, uh, some people are saying that uh, it could disrupt the world of work. Some, somehow it will disrupt the world of work, but uh, it will create jobs rather than, you know, losing those jobs. How do you get around uh, those people and making sure that they're able to understand that actually digitalization or e-learning, uh, e-recruitment is the way to go as things have evolved over the years. Yeah, so Tom, I think one of the one of the most crucial things that you that you mentioned there is is the progress and the fact that we that we're creating jobs. You know, so there, there are there are scholars that believe that we're already in the fifth industri industrial revolution post COVID, and when it comes to the the topic of digitization, I think where it's at for for businesses is to embrace it um when we speak about digital skill there's a there's a human behind that skill that holds that skill and i think in order for us to to keep evolving with the time and keep evolving with technology what we need to focus on is not only um, you know, bringing in terms of recruitment, bringing on board the skill that we have right now, but keep developing our talent so that we are able to respond to the fast pace at which technology um, is evolving. And and in terms of, of, of a response, you know, if, if we just think we spoke about it earlier, how you know how dependent we really are on technology and and in terms of digital skill it is not only um you know the cyber security or the artificial intelligence or data engineering yes it's that as well but it, but but if we think about our business and 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 for example, you have somebody in your business that is tasked with creating content to market the business or market products on social media you're employing somebody with a digital skill or if you have somebody back office say for example at you know the station or in the business that is that is using programs to um, analyze data and drawing inferences from the data you know to better the the uptake or better the marketing or, or reach more customers or viewers then definitely you're employing somebody with with the digital skills so i think where it's at for us as businesses is to embrace it and and rather focus on developing that that skill so that we are able to respond to to the pace and to create future forward businesses I mean, um, you know, I, I just want to pick your brain a bit uh, on, uh, on on this issue that we're discussing. I mean, um, uh, quite a lot of, uh, you know, experts in the field are saying that uh, somewhere, somehow, uh, COVID-19, um, you know, changed the world, uh, you know, somewhere, somehow, how we do things. And it actually fast-tracked or fast-forwarded for our, to, um, you know, the... Um, uh, the entire um, world, if I may put it that way. And uh, I mean, we've seen that uh, talk has been forced into action, uh, you know, over the last three years. There, um, uh, uh, there's quite a lot. Uh, you're seeing that uh, uh, people 
had to do a bit of adjustments in there and work at home meetings. Uh, you know, companies uh, that, that usually uh, uh, can have meetings online, they use the platform. And you see that uh, a lot of people actually met their targets, uh, you know, while, I mean, I mean, digitally. So has COVID-19 really fast-tracked that and oh, it has made things a bit clearer for us? I couldn't agree more. I think that it has fast tracked, you know, our, our progress into digitization. And I think what it's also proven is our resilience as humans. And I think what what needs to happen now is that we need to just just keep on with that development and that involvement. Because as you have mentioned, you know, hybrid working arrangements, um, use of digital platforms, we're right there. And and I think, it, like I said, it's proven the agility that we have to respond. And and we need to we need to continue to leverage that. Mm. Hester, I mean, we're running out of time, but, uh, you know, I want to know where can people find you on social media if uh, they want to get in touch? Absolutely. So the application forms for the training are available on both of the Facebook and LinkedIn pages of the project. And it is called by the name of the project, which is e-recruitment and inclusive hiring practices for SMMEs in South Africa. Then the application form is also available on the website of the project on mbc.lysko.com, where that MBC is short for Move Beyond Consulting. Just uh, lastly, I mean, in, in a few seconds, um, let's remind our viewers uh, on the e-recruitment and inclusive hiring practice for SMMEs, the workshop. Um, what is it that, that they are expecting again uh, next month? I'm not sure. I think uh, 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 we're experiencing a few uh, uh, connection issues there with Hester, but much appreciated for right, coming. So Hester. just just in a short. Yeah, uh, that uh, Hester. I think we are experiencing a few connection issues there, but much appreciated for coming this evening, Hester van der Merve from the German Development Corporation, there, uh, shortly known as GIZ, talking to us about the training initiative they are providing for SMMEs in South Africa. And just to underscore the vital role technology plays in modern uh, businesses with a strong emphasis on fostering inclusivity in the workplace. Well, that's how we wrap it up for today's episode of Soweto Today. Remember, we love hearing from you. So please feel free to talk to us about this episode. Send us an email. It's uh, Soweto Today at SowetoTV.co.za. Alternatively, you can call us or WhatsApp us at 081 From myself, Tabo Mulukwani, and the rest of the team, good night and thank you for watching.